Hey, how's everyone doing this evening? I know for me, when I ask that question, given the current set of circumstances, sometimes the best answer I have to give is I don't know. See, there's so many things that are going on that are changing so rapidly that when I think about last week to even what now I'm encountering today, it just seems like, like man, who would have thought that I'd be working from home? Who would have thought that I wouldn't be able to go inside and sit down and eat at a restaurant? Even more than that, who would have thought that we'd be running out of toilet paper to purchase or paper towels to purchase, or we'd be having to stand in these really long lines over at the supermarket just to pick up basic essentials. And I don't know about you, but for me, that causes my stress to increase. So here at Set Free, what we've decided to do is put in place what we call hit pause. The idea of this and our hope and our desire for you is that throughout the day, you're going to stop from whatever it is that you're doing and you're just going to hit that internal pause button. In doing so, we're going to ask, I'm asking you that you're just going to take a moment and take a deep breath. You're going to exhale and then you're going to reflect upon the goodness of God and knowing that he is right here in our midst. He knows what's going on. He knows what he's doing. I know for many of us that that places us in a very difficult position because if you're anything like me, I want to know what's going on. I want to know how long this is going to last and I want to know when it's going to be over. Fortunately, that is not information that I'm aware of. I watch the news, I, I listen to other people and I read articles, but it's not giving me the answers and the assurance that, that, that what it is in a moment like this that I believe that I need. And I know I believe that, that you believe that's what you need as well. See, but when I also think about scripture, which is the first place that we ought to go to is God's word, right? In 2 Corinthians 4.18, the apostle Paul, he writes these words. He says, so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. You see, because what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And the idea of this is our focus. Where and who are we placing our focus? Distraction is our enemy. Distraction will take us away from what we ought to be focusing on, which is God and things above. And when we focus on crisis and we focus on circumstance and we focus on chaos, not only is our focus misplaced, but then our internal gauge of how we're feeling, it becomes off the charts at a level which, which I don't believe you want it to be and I know in me I don't want it to be either. You see, friends, we have to remember that what's happening around us is temporary. It's not going to last forever. Now, I know for many of us, this includes myself as, as well, is it feels like forever. The moment you're to I'm told that I have to socially distance myself from people, the moment that I'm told that I need to stay at home, that I can't go out to restaurants, and not only can we not go out to restaurants now, our only option is drive throughs We're not even allowed now, just it's not even a matter of allowed, the restaurants aren't open. There's now stores, I went to the bank today to find out that the hours had decreased at the bank. And so now, our whole lives have pretty much been turned upside down and they look extremely different than what it is that we're accustomed to. And the familiar now is no longer familiar. And we're having to embrace a new normal. But what is that new normal? I wish I could answer that for you. But what I do know is that if we take the Apostle Paul's words to heart and we fix our eyes upon God, the new normal will be able to embrace a whole lot easier and a whole lot better, right? So my encouragement to each and every one of you right now in this moment is as you hit that pause button, fix your eyes upon Jesus, focus on him. He is our refuge and he is our strength. He is our comforter and he is our provider. But as many of you may already know, and I hope you already know, I know for me, I know, more importantly is he is your and my savior and he's our friend. We can trust in him and we can know that he has everything exactly where it needs to be. He knows where it's headed. He knows the turns that it needs to take and he's gonna guide and direct this entire process. But I gotta tell you, I actually believe that this is the time in which revival is gonna happen. It's in times like these that people come together. It's in times like these that we're more apt to ask for help and that we're more apt to raise our hand because we don't know what else it is that that it is that we are to do. So in this moment, hit pause. I know for me, I'm hitting pause, and if we need to hit pause more than once a day, hit it as frequently throughout the day as you need to hit it. But thank you for joining, and I look forward to connecting with you all tomorrow. God bless.